went from foggy and cool this morning to already getting hot. Yeah? Well, at least the sun's out. A big orange box is gone. We mentioned last week that that box would probably be gone, and it did. It uh, it didn't make it past that shop this week. What? Um, he actually uh, started reaching back out to me Friday evening, and then he reached out Monday, and we pretty much closed the deal Monday, and it was just delivered Wednesday. So cool. But we actually worked out a deal to where because he wanted to keep. He ended up wanting to keep his snap-on box to keep it home. Mm -hmm. So we was able to work out a deal that we could still get it done, still make it happen. So um, he's got two toolboxes now. Um, but that just leaves us a spot to put another toolbox, right? There so you go. We, uh, <laughs> You're going to have to get one ordered. Yeah, hopefully there's another distributor or somebody that's got one because they're pretty far behind right now. So I think six to eight weeks behind. So I don't really want to spot that long yeah but um yeah we gotta get we gotta get one in there i got it this weekend i gotta get my shelf back up and try to get the tool truck a little bit more organized it's a little out of whack right now but we'll well i had a guy reach out to me with an email and i thought i'd just cover it on here because there we go that's a good question he says hello clay i have a question for you and matco michael he said, my Matco dealer said that he shouldn't service my ratchet because I bought it from the website, matcotools.com. He did service it because you buy other tools from me, so I'll help you out, but I'm not supposed to. Is this true? I read the warranty section on the website, and it said that Matco, or one of its authorized representatives, wouldn't a tool be, dealer be an authorized representative? Yes. So I did reply to him, and I said, yes, like you guys can warranty any Matco tool, whether you buy it from another dealer or Matco Tools website. or I mean, at the end of the day, you guys can warranty it if they buy it from a pawn shop or a buddy or whatever y'all feel like y'all want to warranty. So, so it's kind of the dealer's choice on that. Correct. It is, it is the dealer's choice. However, I will say that I I don't understand that he shouldn't warranty it. Like I'm not putting another distributor down or nothing, but I don't right. I don't understand that logic because when you start a tool business, it ain't like nobody's ever had a Maco tool in that area before. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure there is some spots, but like this route, when I took it over, if I'd have had that, okay, well, you bought it from somebody else, whether it be from another tool dealer or the online you didn't buy it from me i'm not going to warrant mm -hmm. it I, I wouldn't have no customers there could because you would have that fear of okay well when this dealer uh moves on or gets out retires whatever it may be i'm not going to get it warranted. i'm not going to have it warranted yeah. i want to start all over that that just that wouldn't work so in my opinion um or let me just tell you how i do it i warrant it whether it's if it says Maco on it and it has a lifetime warranty, I'll warrant it. If it says Maco on it and it has a one year warranty and you can prove that it's within the one year, then I'll warrant it. Uh, and the only reason I need proof that it's, warranty, that it's within the one year warranty is because Maco needs proof. Right. Um, so if it's in warranty, I'm gonna cover it. I don't, you know, the only time that I probably won't warranty a ratchet for you or something is if you still owe it and not paying the distributor. That's the only mm -hmm. way. Um, but that's just because if, if, if you don't own the tool and you're not paying for the tool, it's basically stolen property. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I won't do it then, but. Like I've explained it, uh, you know, on some of the other videos and I can understand, like if a guy comes on here, let's take this for example, and he's got a broken 27 millimeter in back socket. And that's the only one you got on the truck. Obviously, you should order that for that guy, not give him the one here because the next shop you go to, you know, if that's the only set you got, if you got two or three sets, I can see you opening one, but the next shop you go to may be your good customers and that may be the set he needs. And I understand that. Right. I think most mechanics understand that or most normal people should understand that. But man, putting the guts in a ratchet, come on now. Well, and you see, the, the thing about it is, uh, open, there's, the warranty conversation could go on for a while, but um, as far as whether it should be warranted or not, yes, it should be. Now, how you warrant it, yeah, that can be different. If you have, if you don't have the repair kit and you say, hey, I gotta order it, I understand that because, you know, 
hey, look, it's I, yeah, I could take one of the ratchets off, but what if it's the only orange ratchet I got that's flex head, and later on down the road, a good customer may want to buy it. Mm -hmm. I understand not doing that, um, but just to say no, I shouldn't because you bought it offline. Yeah. I think my question will be, what made you go online instead of me? You know, was my price too high? Mm -hmm. Is my terms out of reach? Well, I don't know yeah. how it works with Matco because me and you have never discussed this, but I know with Mac, if a guy, let's say I buy something online from MacTools.com, my dealer still makes what he would normally make if I'd have bought it off the truck. So, um, sort of. Well, same kind of same with us. So reckon why that guy just be in a, a pain in the butt about it. Like I mean, I don't understand it. And right. like, if that was my dealer, I'd be like, no problem, just fix my ratchet, and then I would never, ever, never, under any circumstances, ever buy a tool from that guy. Yeah. Right. Well, definitely, we don't know all sides of the story. Right. I mean, but, I'm, I mean, I'm saying just, if that was the normal, like yeah. that's how the mo is, like just just the way that it was presented to us in the question. Uh, hey, I had this ratchet, I bought it, and they didn't want to warranty it because I didn't buy it basically from him. I bought it online. Yeah, it should still be warranted in my opinion. Um, we do we do pay the cost of the warranty up front, but then they reimburse us when we send it in. So mm -hmm. as long as you're not letting your warranties build up to a high amount and then sending it in, I mean, you can, you can send one in every week if you want to, right? Right. Um, but... Yeah, I would definitely warranty it right away. There's no reason it shouldn't be. Yeah, I, I mean, there too. is restrictions on warranty. Like, okay, if a tool is an abuse, well, that's a different story. That wasn't brought up. It wasn't said, hey, you used mm. a pipe on the end of it or whatever. Um, so if the, you know, there's that was a clear cut. If it was stripped out, Michael was going to cover it. So, you know, why make them send it in or whatever to get it warranted? So, yeah, that should be covered. Um, I've had people... I think we've all seen it on the video. People that ain't even my customers pull up and say, "Hey." One this morning, actually, yeah. right before we turned the video on. Yeah. <laughs> so up. I mean, I've had you know never bought from me ever ever, uh, and and I've got texts on my route that that that's how that relationship started of them buying stuff. When I mm -hmm. first started, it was got everything I need, thanks, and then a couple of tools broke, and they brought them in. Hey, can this be warranty? Sure can. You know, and then. What really impresses people when you go in and you you see them using something and it's like, hey, you know that's that's broke. If you bring it in, we'll you know, right. we'll warranty it out. I didn't buy it from you. That, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Bring it in. Let's let's get it. Well, see the old. Now this is not Matco Michael. Let me be real clear. <laughs> this ain't Matco Michael. The old dealer we had when I looked at these, it's warranty, but the the plastic portion, the handle portion, is not warranty yeah. at all. No warranty right. on the handle, right? Well, the guy this morning comes up and hands Matco Michael a pry bar, the old style like that that has the more rubber on it. He says, the rubber's coming off. You know what Michael said? I'll get you one. Some, like, so, it wasn't no arguing. It wasn't no fussing. It's like, okay, yeah. I got it. So, sometimes it's not something that you are going to send in the warranty to get to get reimbursed that you're going to cover that as a customer relation deal to try to get a new customer um now you guys keep in mind this guy i know for a fact has never bought anything from michael no because i know the guy i've known the guy a long time and i know the dealer that he bought it from and i asked michael I says he bought stuff from you before this was like two weeks ago when he showed right. up and he's like no I didn't, he didn't even know who he was so that tells you the kind of dealer that my Matco Michael is. Yeah, well, it's just, like I said, sometimes it's not something that you know that Matco probably won't cover, and that's okay. But I want to try to build a customer relation. I want when when a new shop opens up or somebody asks somebody where they get their tool from. I want I want to be in that conversation. Right. Uh, I've picked up three new shops this week just off of that. Um, since we've had a Snap-on, did go out in one of our areas? Uh, I've picked up a lot but there was other trucks that could have been recommended mm -hmm. uh, and I was recommended. So that's that's that kind of warranty that I'm talking about there. I want I want the warranty to work for me, right? Yep. Yeah, it needs to work for the customer, but it needs to work for me too. It needs to, A, justify my price. Mm -hmm. You know, service trust results. The, the service part is on me. Um, I need to be, make sure that that service is there for the price that the tools are paid. So exactly. warranty is important. Um, it's, it's just one of those things. I mean, 
if I buy something from, which I know Walmart's kind of different, but if I buy something from Walmart, I can drive three states over with a receipt and return it. Yeah. I know that's kind of owned by one person, but still, I mean, if you're getting reimbursed. Who cares? It, right? it is what it is. You know, abuse and stuff like that. The, the warranty procedure is pretty pretty blunt on the website. You know, it tells you what is and what ain't warrantied. If mm -hmm. it's a you know, hard line, it'll, if otherwise stated, it's lifetime warranty and less abuse. But even on abuse, I'll tell the customer, look, I'll send it in, and if they say it's good, then it's good. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's not really my place to say no, but. Well, I see you got the new paint ratchets up here. We too. do. I got. Uh, I hope you saved me one of those back. I've That's... got. I've got two left. Uh, I've got one guy that commented uh, that's actually in my route. I'll let you pull that out. That uh, wanted one. So it is non-flex. Yep. But that's okay because this ratchet is probably not going to get used a whole lot anyway. <laughs> um, most people that buy these are not buying them to use them every day. Right. Um, I've sold three of them already, and every one that I've sold was, yeah, I'm not using it. I'm just, I'm going to put it up. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I'm fine with that. We've actually sold um, one set of our garden tools. We've sold several of the knives, several of the little pink mag magnets and stuff like that. Um, whether it be they're buying it for the cause um, or they're, they're buying it to put up because they know somebody that's had it. Um, the guy that bought the gardening tools was for his mom. Um, two of the ratchets that we have sold already were because they actually had cancer, and oh, they're wow. just they're just happy to see some, somebody doing somebody something. supporting mm -hmm. a, a cancer cause. Uh, one of them uh, was kidney cancer, and I, the other one didn't didn't specify what he had, but they were both on the truck at the same time talking about it. So they actually bought some ratchets, bought some hoodies just because they said, look, we've been through cancer, we know how it is, yeah. uh, and stuff like that. And, and cancer don't get the, the publicity that it needs. I mean, it it gets brought up real high certain times of the year, and then it's kind of forgot about unless yeah. you, you know, you got it. So that's something that they'll, they'll put up. Well, I know they'll wear the hoodies and stuff, but the ones that buy these ratchets, they'll put them up. I like the fact that they went ahead and not only Put the pink handle, put put the ribbon on here, mm -hmm. um, etch that in. Of course, it's had the flag on there for a while to, to symbolize that it's made in the USA. So, um, really, I really like the ratchets. We also yeah. got the knives. They will cut you. We found that out on the tool truck yesterday. It says <laughs> extremely sharp, but we still figured it out that it'll cut you. It didn't cut me, but it did what it's supposed to, huh? It, it did what it's supposed to. You know, that's one of the things about knives, they're meant to cut. Uh, it's a good little carrying knife. Uh, again, I don't know how many I actually carry them. Uh, I did have a guy ask me yesterday if it was gonna be warranted for life. No, it's, it's one of these deals where it's, you know, it's four calls and mm -hmm. it's, it's a one off. So it is It is one of those. So the good that's thing cool. with the ratchets, if the head gets messed up, we definitely can get it fixed. So. Nice. And the part numbers on them is, here's the knife, TFC Knife 21, and the ratchet is a BFR-118BPT, so there we go. Talked about the pink impact, people were asking about it, there it is, it's a, still waiting on mine to come in, got four packages coming in today, hopefully it's in one of them. I know I heard some guys talk that the impact was cheaper yeah. than buying it on well, the regular color. So. I mentioned that last week in the video. This one's actually advertising for four thirty two. dollars um, I believe if you look online, the other ones are, I'll just do it. I think they're five something, maybe five sixty. Let me look and see. So, and that's the $27.79. That's the one which mine's green, but man, those are some beasts. Oh, they, they got the power to them. They're by I've no means lacking. Several times that that's the best mistake my Snap-on guy ever did was not ordering that impact. The reason why I bought that one, I'm proud that happened now. So if you look them up online, they are actually showing the regular ones to be 559 uh, and the pink one to be 540. But due to the fact that 
it's uh, coming up on October. Your dealer will be getting these flyers showing that the pink impacts are going on sale. Um, so they're advertising for 432. So save a bunch of money, 108 dollars. That's right, and it's cool. It's pink. So. Yeah, um, the 1600 foot pounds. We didn't even know why we were getting rid of the 69s when they come out because they were so good. We didn't know why they were redesigning it. But when they upped the torque and everything, and it has a little bit of weight to it, four point something pounds, I think is what it says, 4.53 pounds. But it's a balance, though. But it's, it's not balanced. just all so, on the front end like a lot of the composite impacts. Well, and when you take like an electric impact and stuff, they're usually super heavy towards mm -hmm. the front. Um, and you, you sit them down, they fall over. Plus, it's just a lot of weight. Right. Um, it's just one of those things. So I was using, I'm actually doing a C, uh, 6 2. I got a GMC that dropped a uh, push rod and it ate one of the lifters for whatever reason. But um, I was using the half, Mako half inch impact. I'm going to tell you what, that thing's heavy. Mm -hmm. You use it a couple Come with times. Come battery one? Yeah. yeah. You use it a couple times and it it's, starts weighing on your arm, which I'm in the <laughs> middle of a yard, so I don't have. Right. I don't have air, but I, I'm going to tell you, uh, I'd have much rather had that air mm -hmm. and an air hose. It would have been so much easier. I know I would have had to fight with the air hose a little bit, but they got them whips now that you put on there, and it just, I mean, the air hose just basically gets out of the way. They're nice, man. And I... <sighs> nice. I, I don't know. I mean, we've all... We've all had that. The battery discussion. tool guys love battery, and your air tool guys love air. Like, there's no converting either there's no one. There's no converting either and, one. And like, you can go for months bitching back and forth, and yeah, there's the I, outcome's gonna be the same. Your battery guys are gonna say both. they're better. Yeah, so. I think there's a place for both, so we'll you know we'll stay with that. But yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. But I, I will definitely say I, I've never had to use a. Um, balancer installer but you have to use that on the 6.2 there's no you're not and I didn't use it on the balancer I used it on the sprocket because if you've ever tried to put that sprocket on it's pressed on and you're not doing it any other way yeah you well you might but I wasn't able to I definitely found the value of that tool <laughs> real quick um, cool so the tool truck was one less tool because I had to buy that for myself but that's okay there you go you should ask your dealer for a demo well, it may be traded in real soon because <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, we got some stuff going on at the house. We're having to do a little bit of remodeling and everything. So I may actually end up um, boxing my tools back up for a little while until I get my shop built. Yeah. And uh, so that box may make a reappearance as a trade-in as well. Not that I want to get rid of it. I just mm -hmm. don't have nowhere for it right now. Yeah. Um, the area that it's actually in, we're actually closing in. So, I don't know. Well, speaking of remodeling, sounds like my sheetrock guys is pulling around. So <laughs> we're doing a lot of remodeling here at the office and shop too. So it's going to be an adventure for a little while anyway. The joys, right? That's oh, right. and I had one other uh, okay. question on a toolbox I'd like to answer. I uh, had a guy buy a toolbox had it for, I think he said a couple of weeks, never put a tool in it, wanted to trade it in for something smaller, and he basically got told that he couldn't get what he gave for it back. There's a couple of reasons that that happens. Um, he had mentioned that the dealer had said that it wouldn't have a lifetime warranty anymore. That is in true fact. Um, with our toolboxes, the original owner gets a lifetime warranty. Once it's sold, it doesn't have that lifetime warranty anymore. Now, if you've got a dealer that'll work with you, talk to him. Um, That's but kind of crappy. In, in, in the in the fine print that is stated on the on the website. Mm -hmm. So, but also once you do a, once you write that PSA, we I've said a couple of times we don't actually house our own PSA to, or our own finance company, I guess I should say. Um, so therefore, we're not able to just back it out. Um, some states require a certain time limit. If it was in that time limit, then yeah, it, it has to be done. But like Mississippi doesn't have that time limit. If you buy it today and tomorrow you want to return it, the finance company doesn't have to let you return mm -hmm. it with no recourse. So I don't know, I don't remember what state he was in and stuff like that, but there was some things that mentioned that the dealer was correct on that, you know. Uh, it really just depends on who the dealer is and stuff like that, so. 
Wow, that sucks. All right, guys. Like always, thank y'all for watching. If you liked the video today, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, you take a finger and click that button. It's that easy. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you later.